How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm here at the Concord Water Tower. And of course that's uh, right near Abernathy's. Actually halfway between Abernathy's and the Red Rocket. And I chose this spot to build a huge player home. And so I spent this week building a very large log cabin. And most of you probably know that that, uh, that comes from the Cabin in the Woods mod. And uh, for anyone who's interested in uh, some of my builds, you can always get a sneak peek at these builds if you go to Reddit. Uh, like three days ago, I had photos of this build posted on Reddit. And I'm also working on, uh, they're, they're having a contest on there uh, for a transformative training ground. And I'm currently working on a huge military fort type build at uh, Spectacle Island. And uh, I'll be doing the video on that next Wednesday. However, if you want a sneak peek at it and want to see what it looks like ahead of time, you can always go on Reddit, usually uh, two or three days in advance, and check out the photos of my build there. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take you around the outside here and show you what I got going on. I set up a recruitment beacon because I did want to have one settler here. And I did get my one settler, so I turned the beacon off. Uh, I have a huge fireplace on the inside, and since I have a fireplace, I needed wood, so I stacked some wood here. And down here, I've got a grill set up and a table and chairs, so we can come out here on the deck and grill out, eat our food out here. Now, this deck goes three ways around this building. And then down there, I also have a small deck with a swimming pool. And I'll show you that uh, a little better later in the video here. For now, let's wander inside and show you what I got going on. Now, I found out this week that it is possible to access the uh, Place Anywhere menu while you're in your workshop mode. So I was playing around with that this week and it made a huge difference in this build and I'm sure in my future builds. But anyways, getting on with the tour, I can come home, put my shoes on the uh, mat there, hang my hat up. Or if I want, I can always come over here and put my shoes and coat in the closet. And usually when I come home, I really have to hit that bathroom really quick. So I've got a small bathroom here set up. And of course I can throw my keys in the bin there in the in the tray on the bureau. And then I'm ready to relax. Now over here I've got a huge living area, living room area set up. And got a wet bar, nice sectional couch. Another sectional couch over here. And there's my huge uh, fireplace. We can come over here and have TV dinners or whatever, relax, eat our dinner here. Got a nice lounge area, shoot some pool, relax, listen to tunes. And of course, I got a bulletin board here so I can put my post it notes up, you know, reminders and things like that. Over here is the kitchen area, and that's where my one settler is. She's working at the sink there. She prepares all our meals. Got a nice water cooler set up, so if I want a nice cold drink of fresh water, it's available. Nice kitchen area. 
I can sit here and eat my breakfast here if I want. Or I can eat my breakfast over here. And as I said, being able to access the place anywhere menu in workshop mode made a big difference in this in this build. This Nuka World flat screen is normally only half that size. I blew it up. Now this model ship is from the Port Royal mod, and so is this one. Now I used the Place Anywhere to shrink this gorilla statue down from, uh, from the Nuka World. And I put that on the stand. And Settlement Objects Expansion Pack has Dima chairs. I shrunk one of those down and put it on a stand. I also shrunk this bear statue a little bit because it's normally too tall to stand there. But shrinking it down slightly made it fit. So it's really handy. Got a couple bureaus here with stuff in them. Ammo, books, odd and end stuff. Now my gun cabinet here, I made that. Uh, those are like, sort of like end table type things. Uh, I used those and then I used the glass panels from the SOE mod. I shrunk the glass panels down so that they fit there and I made a really nice gun cabinet. And I put all my uh, all my weapons that I like to use in there. Uh, my combat shotgun, lever action, my 50 caliber. Also hung my crossbow up there on the wall. Over here I did some more playing around. I shrunk down a power armor station and power armor. Stuck them there. Shrunk down a turret and put it there. Also one of those naval cannons. So I did a lot of playing around with this mod. This is actually a bookcase and uh, it goes to my secret escape tunnel. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So that's pretty much the downstairs area. And up here I've got two bedrooms. This bedroom down here is for my settler. This is where she sleeps. Now that four poster bed comes from, um, I believe it's creative clutter, either that or thematic and practical. Uh, it's a large nautical bed, but I also glitched uh, a double bed in there so that it had nicer blankets and pillows. So kind of cheated there a little bit, but I like the way it looks. You'll notice a lot of creative clutter. Here I shrunk down the Western animatronic, vault boy and vault girl, a red coat statue, and I blew a TV up just a little bit. Gave her a nice bathroom, nice tub. You know, being able to shrink these objects or blow them up uh, you know, it's going to make a big difference with my decorating. You know, I have a lot of decorating mods, and they're really great mods. But after you do just so many builds, uh, it's like you're decorating with the same stuff over and over. So this is really going to change it up and make it so that I have a lot of new stuff to decorate with. Now this is my bedroom. And once again, a four-poster bed with a double bed glitched in more creative clutter. Now this time I put uh, construction light on here, shrunk it down, and that actually works. You can turn it on and off. That's a Gen 1 statue I shrunk down. 
So yeah, I probably went overboard playing around with that mod, but you know how it is when a kid gets a new toy, you gotta play. And play I did. But I had fun with it. So that's the upstairs area. And as I said, this is actually a secret door to my escape tunnel. And down here you have access to the basement area. And I put my water down here. And I did use uh, the Conquest mod in order to be able to get a settler here. And I actually used three different workshops to build this place. I used the Red Rocket workshop, Abernathy's workshop, and the Conquest workshop. So three workshops to build this area. And uh, Abernathy's visit me often when, we're not, when they're not working. Looks like I left my door open to my escape tunnel. And this is a huge pipe that goes down the side of the hill. And it actually comes out underwater. And I shrunk, or I blew up a, a skull and put it there. You know. Like I said, kids got to play. And of course, this is the back deck area. Nice place to relax. And this uh, pool area actually looks nice at night. I actually have a, a new mod that I'm using that gives you uh, better lights, uh, colored lights of all kinds, uh, and also brighter lights so you don't have to use so many lights uh, when you're building houses because the lights, if you're using tons of lights, uh, on the inside of houses, they tend to really mess with your uh, frame rate after a while. But uh, I really like the way this build came out. I had a lot of fun with it. Especially playing with the Place Anywhere mod, you know, being able to use that in workshop mode. So I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I will leave a uh, link to my mod list and load order into the description here, as I always do. So anyone who is thinking about uh, commenting and saying, hey, what's your mod list, which I always have people do that, even though I put the link in the description. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. I always appreciate it when you do. And as I said, if you want a sneak peek at uh, my humongous uh, military base that I'm building, check Reddit. Usually if you check it Sunday, Monday, somewhere around there, you'll find it. But again, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next week.